Do you need $100,000 to scale a business or investment? Well, watch this video. I'm gonna show you exactly how you could access that. If you're new to this channel, my name is Andrew and Bessie. If you don't know who I am, I have an eight figure business where I help entrepreneurs and business owners start or scale businesses or investments using business funding. It could be a trading account, a real estate fund, a real estate project, e-commerce store, online business, brick and mortar business. It could be literally anything and we help people access funding to start or scale that business or investment. So in this video, I'm gonna break down all the steps that you need to take in order to access 0% interest funding. And it's actually a lot faster and easier than you may think to access abundant amounts of capital, anywhere between 50, $150,000 or more to start any business or investment that you want. So I'm gonna break this down into five steps for you. That way you could walk away knowing exactly what to do. So the first step you're gonna to wanna to do before applying for any 0% interest interest funding is that you should create an LLC. Now there's a huge difference between applying for 0% personal cards and 0% business cards. A huge benefit to applying for 0% interest business credit cards is that you can max out the business credit cards without having an impact to your credit score. So before I get into the steps of how to access 0% interest funding, you may be asking yourself, what exactly is 0% interest funding and does it really exist? Can I actually get money with no interest? interest? Yes, it does actually exist. And really all it is, is a promotional period offered on brand new credit card accounts. So when you're opening up a credit card, there are some credit cards that offer this promotional APR. And usually it's for around 12 months. It's not for the entire duration that you own the credit card, but usually it's around 12, 18 months from when you open the account. And 0% interest could allow you to actually inject a large amount of capital into a business or an investment before having to pay any interest all as long as you pay the minimum payment to your credit card, which is usually one to 2% of the balance that you owe. So now that we know what 0% interest funding is, let's dive into how you could access this capital to start or scale your business or investment. And if this is something that you're looking for some help with, click the link in my description. I actually have a program where I help people fund their trading accounts, businesses, real estate projects, e-commerce stores, any kind of business or investment using 0% interest funding. You click the link in the description, you fill out a form and someone on my team will reach out to you to strategize a game plan that goes into more detail of what we're going to talk about today. So the first step you're going to want to know in order to apply for 0% interest funding is actually opening a business. Now there are personal credit cards that offer the 0% promotional period, but there are also business credit cards that offer the 0% promotional period. And why is it so much better to get business credit cards than it is to get personal cards? cards? Well, there's a bunch of reasons. For number one, you could actually access higher credit limits. So typically we see people able to get $50,000, $25,000 credit limits very easily compared to a personal credit card where typically you could see maybe five, 10 or 15,000, in some cases, 20,000 or more. So you could actually get approved for way more money getting business credit cards as opposed to personal credit cards. Number two, you can max out the business credit card with no impact to your credit score. So typically what happens when you max out a personal credit card is that your credit score shoots down. And this is because there's a factor in your credit called credit card utilization. And this makes upward of 30% of your overall credit score. And so if you max out a credit card and you're over utilizing your accounts, it's actually going to negatively impact your score. But if you apply for the right business credit cards, then that actually doesn't happen at all to your personal credit score. And and you're able to actually leverage a ton of money and have a lot of credit card debt, which is actually a good thing, not a bad thing for your business. So what we do inside my program, we help people who don't already have a business create a business from scratch. Usually we'll do something at home just so it's a little bit easier to get approved for the business credit card. That way the bank could actually verify someone's physical address, but you can also use a virtual address to set up your business. Once you form an LLC, then you could actually move on to the next step, which is making sure that your credit is ready before you apply. So some things that we look for inside my business when we're consulting clients on how to actually get approved for this 
abundant amount of business credit is that we'll look and make sure that they have no late payments, no derogatory marks like any collections, all their credit cards are paid down, so that their score is as good as it's what it's going to be before they apply. Sometimes we let it slide with like one late payment. Typically we don't like to do that, but if they have a really good credit score and typically what we look for is at least a 700, in some cases, nothing less than a 670, but the sweet spot is definitely gonna be above 700, preferably above 740 to see some of the better results. And so this is actually a very simple step. You just wanna make sure that all your credit is ready to go before you take any action. That way you could actually get the best results possible and not have to do this twice or three times just to get it right. The last thing that you wanna do is apply for all these cards when your credit is not ready. Then what's gonna happen is that you're gonna get all these inquiries on your personal credit report. You're gonna get all these denials and then you're gonna have to start all over again and get all these inquiries removed. With every single client that we work with in our business, when we're helping them apply for 0% interest business credit cards, we always make sure that this step is touched before we even proceed. This is because we don't wanna have to go back and do it again and again and again and go through that same mess of removing all those inquiries every single time. Once you've made sure that your credit is ready, we'll move into the next step of preparing your application answers. This is going to include making sure that you have the right business industry, the right estimated business revenue numbers, the right estimated monthly spend numbers, the right business address, and anything else that we're gonna need to really put together your application that improves your results. Another thing that we also do is actually prepare any potential documentation we could leverage to get approved for even more. Now, most of these business credit cards that we apply to, or at least I apply to, don't require any documentation other than your articles of incorporation and your EIN letter. So some extra documentation that we occasionally prepare before we start applying for any credit cards are sometimes credit card statements, because sometimes you're able to actually show show credit card statements that you're spending a lot of money on your cards before you apply. And besides the simple information that's required to fill in an application, occasionally we'll also include different documentation. Now, not every business credit card requires documentation. Most of the business credit cards that we apply to have no documentation required other than your articles of incorporation and EIN letter. So besides an EIN letter and the articles of incorporation for your business, there are a few other docs that you can provide to actually improve your funding results. One of the docs that we use include credit card statements. So I've actually leveraged this strategy myself when I was applying for a business credit card. Originally, I was declined because seven months prior to applying for that particular business credit card I applied to, I had opened seven accounts seven months prior. So the bank said, no, we're not gonna extend any credit to you at this time. So I turned around, grabbed some credit cards statements and showed my relationship manager, hey, I'm paying these cards down and I'm maxing them out, I'm paying them down. I can afford more credit. I can take on additional exposure and I'll be completely okay. So I showed him my credit card statements. He went to the underwriting team, showed them my credit card statements, and a week later they turned around and actually gave me a $35,000 business credit card. And this wouldn't have happened if I didn't know to actually include those credit card statements in my application. So once you've prepared any documentation you may need, which generally don't need any documentation other than the two docs I mentioned earlier, your EIN letter, and your articles of incorporation, and you have all your other answers figured out, we'll then prepare a funding plan. Your funding plan is going to be a list of banks that you're going to apply to in a particular order. That way you can maximize the amount of credit that you get your hands on. And yes, going in a specific order does matter. Knowing what inquiries the banks will pull does matter as well. And these are actually all things that we cover inside my program where we help business owners and entrepreneurs access business credit. And typically with this sequence, you can get over $100,000. Sometimes people get 50, sometimes people get $200,000 or more. But knowing the right banks to go to in the right order and really taking time to put that funding plan together is going to be extremely important. Everyone has a different funding plan. That's a really cool part. And so we'll personally tailor a funding plan to our clients where no funding plan is exactly the same. So take time on this step because the next step afterward is going to be applying. And some places you're gonna to have to walk into 
to the bank, some places you could go online, some places you could do entirely over the phone, through email, and you wanna make sure that you have a really good funding plan before you actually apply for all those credit cards. And guys, there's really not much more to it than that. The next step afterward would be leveraging your credit, whether it's for everyday purchases or maybe you actually wanna make a lot of money with a business or investment. And if you're someone who wants to make a lot of money with a business or investment, then inside of our program, not only do we help people access business credit cards, but we even point them in the right direction toward what other opportunities our clients, our members, our team are actually involved with themselves. That way, you don't have to trial and error business opportunities or investments by yourself. You could actually take advantage of what's already working for other people. And it's this incredible group that's all formed under the idea of actually leveraging credit to make money. So we have people that come in from real estate, from trading, from YouTube, from e-commerce, from trucking, any business model or industry you think of, this group that we've created where we help entrepreneurs and business owners access business credit and leverage that in different business opportunities, you're able to surround yourself with other like-minded entrepreneurs and really get a feel for what could work for you and what's working for other people. So really it's as easy as that. Those are the steps to go from what is 0% interest funding to how you can leverage it and get access to it to fund any business or investment you want. And guys, if you enjoyed this content, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn on notifications so that way you don't miss another video. So with all that said, I'll see you guys in the next video.